Hi there, my name is Dwayne Jacka and I'm Business Solution Specialist at Priority Communication Systems. Today I wanted to go over what you're going to find in the box when you purchase an OB game projection system brought to you by iClick. So once we remove the initial packaging from OB, here's what you're going to find. Uh, some important identification that you'll find on the outside of OB. Over here, you're going to have the actual serial number of the device itself. That's an important bit of information for you to log down for your records. Just make sure that you have it in a readily available place, should we ever need it. Here at PCS, prior to shipping your OB, we will make sure that it functions correctly on our test bench. We will make sure that it is updated with all the current firmware updates, um, as well as ensure that all of your games are preloaded on the system for you. Beyond that, we'll also make sure that we have an installation guide for the physical installation of OB, and uh, that'll help you guide you through the process of installing it. So here's OB once we open up the box. You'll notice that OB is neatly packaged off to the one side. This is the bottom of OB. Just wanted to identify the network port, uh, the on off switch, as well as the power uh, cord placement socket. On the front side of OB, we have the mirror. This would be projecting down onto the floor or the table. We can move that up if we were to be projecting it onto the wall. You will also need to move the sensor bar upwards so that it would then be projecting at the wall as well. You'll find that there's a manual adjust for not only the focus, but also a physical span adjustment. So you're able to set it to the size of the table and then focus it based on those two adjustment sliders on the bottom of OB. Included with every OB package will be this assembly right here. It will be mounted together. I have disassembled it to show you the parts and pieces. This will be included with OB. This is available upon request if necessary. This is the T-bar suspension bracket. It will allow you to suspend OB from a T-bar ceiling. Parts that come with OB will be a solid surface mount. You'll be utilizing this on a drywall ceiling or a concrete ceiling and using the included hardware to affix it to that surface. There will be an extension bracket included within the packaging and that allows you to tune how high you want OB suspended below uh, either the T-bar ceiling or a hard mounted ceiling. And be below that, here is the actual bracket that fits onto OB itself, which is the uh, main mechanism that holds OB. And it is rotatable, so you are able to orient OB uh, however you like to best fit your facility. On this side here, again, we have the T-bar bracketry. It simply sits within the T-bar rails that the tiles would sit in. And then there will be an included lanyard that you're able to anchor this to a solid surface above the T-bar. This lanyard comes with quite a long length. It's about 10 feet. So you should be able to anchor it uh, on just about any suspended ceiling. So the first steps are really just deciding where you're going to be mounting OB. Whether or not it's going to be in a room with a T-bar ceiling or whether it's something with more of a solid uh, mount ceiling and deciding the parts and pieces that you require. If you require the extension bracket, you can utilize that with either the T-bar bracket or the solid surface bracket, or you can actually eliminate the extension bracket altogether and use it with either of these two assemblies. You're gonna determine whether you require the extension bracket based on having OB hanging somewhere around 8 feet to 15 feet above the floor. Anywhere within that window you will end up with more than a sufficient playing surface and it will be optimized for that. Determine what parts and pieces you're going to require. For example, on a T-bar ceiling that is hanging at about 8 feet, I would simply need a T-bar bracket and the bracket that will hold OB to that ceiling. If I'm on a suspended ceiling, a T-bar ceiling that is further than 15 feet up to achieve that window, I would simply mount the extension bracket and the OB bracket. 
And the same thing can be said for the solid mount bracket. All of the hardware is included, as I mentioned before, and hanging OB really couldn't be any easier. Once you've chosen your location and you've determined the parts that you require, ensure that you have a plug somewhere near that point that you're going to be uh, utilizing OB. The plug can either be mounted to the drywall ceiling, flush mount in the drywall ceiling, it can be um, behind a T-bar suspended ceiling, as long as you have a plug within five feet of where OB will actually be hanging. Furthermore, we'd want to run a data plug to OB. Um, and again, same, same premise there. Just make sure that you have that data cable available uh, and actually able to plug into the back of OB itself. Now that you've got your location chosen and the wires run to location, it really comes down to physically hanging the OB. Utilizing the T-bar bracket as an example, we would suspend that and anchor it in place with the lanyard. In this example, I will simply use the OB bracket mounted to the T-bar bracket and have that assembly ready to go before you bring OB up to it. For ease of use and being able to see how it's mounted, I won't assemble these parts currently, but just to show you how it mounts, once you're ready and the assembly is hanging from the ceiling, bring OB up to the bracket, simply push it into place and move it off to the forward side. At that point in time, this bracket will already hold OB. Utilizing the hardware that is included, these four additional screws can be used to tighten down the angle at which OB will be hanging from the ceiling. This allows for ceilings that are at a slight angle to be able to be compensated for and have OB project directly downwards. Tighten those up once you've determined the angle that you require. And the physical installation of OB is done once you place your power cord on, your data plug on, and flip the power switch. You're ready to start enjoying OB. I'll go through some setup options in the next video to get you started on the games. Thanks very much.